Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So, Dr. Bray, the question today uh, is an interesting one. Not that the other ones aren't, but uh, how much alcohol is permissible? Is it uh, if it is, for example, in small in small amount in food? And I guess I'll infer that and say I'm thinking things like vanilla extract that has alcohol, maybe. Mm -hmm. So the, the Quranic verse that speaks about this is in the fifth chapter, the 90th verse, where it says, uh, it, it says khamr, innam al khamr wal maisir, the, the uh, drinking and gambling. And then it says, uh, it's ridsum min amal shaitan, the, the evil from, or, or, or foul things or even filth from the work of, the, of uh, Satan. Fajtanibuhu uh, alakum so you should uh, give, uh, give up all of this, uh, leave it off, stay away from it in order that you should be uh, uh, successful. So uh, the, from this, uh, Muslim scholars derive that um, alcohol should be avoided uh, at all costs. Uh, now, in further details, they, um, we have hadith uh, saying that if uh, a large quantity of something will make you intoxicated, then even a small quantity of it is impermissible. So then with a hadith like that, uh, what do we do with uh, some foods in which alcohol might be present? Mm -hmm. um, maybe for its preservation, not necessarily for its taste or any of its intoxicating properties. Uh, so, so now this becomes a puzzle for, for us to deal with in modern times. And what we would say is that we, we don't equate things the, the, in a simple manner. We, we look at the objective and we look at the, um, what, what something does rather than what it is called. Uh, so uh, the alcohol in the large quantity, this is an intoxicant that is per forbidden because of what it does to a person. Uh, we say that a small amount uh, is also per uh, impermissible because maybe drinking the small amount leads you to, you don't know where to stop, you drank some, you drank some more, you drank some more, mm -hmm. eventually became drunk. Uh, in any case, you, you want to so uh, abhor that thing that you don't even want to uh, taste and enjoy a little bit of it, uh, lest you start thinking that it's acceptable uh, to have a larger amount. Or maybe you are drinking a small amount and then your kids see that and they think they can drink a larger amount because they see that this is something uh, permissible or, or, or not distasteful in, in the family and so on. So the community as a whole then shuns everything to deal with, uh, to do with alcohol. We don't buy it, we don't sell it, we we don't carry it and, and so on. Um, so, but, but that's different from, let's say you go to the store, you pick up uh, something uh, because it looks like good food, and then if you look at the fine print, then suddenly you d discover, oh, wait a minute, I can't have this because it's got some alcohol. And sometimes it's called something else. Sometimes it's called like propylene glycol mm -hmm. or something like this. And if you investigate that, what's this? So, okay, so it turns out to be alcohol. So what do you do with that? So I, I wouldn't say that such a food is prohibited because whatever this is, uh, whether you call it alcohol or something else, you, you can't taste it, you can't feel its traces, you can't extract it if you wanted to. It's not like some uh, alcohol spilled on your bread and you can pinch away that piece of the bread, mm -hmm. throw that away and you still have a good remainder of the bread to eat. In this case, you can't really take it out. So a Muslim should not deliberately put alcohol in, in his or her food, but if it is there already processed and it's part of the food which is being sold and its traces and its effect is not there, it may serve as a preservative, but it's not going to do any harm to you and it's not going to make you intoxicated. Uh, I wouldn't say that there is a problem with that food. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dr. Shreve. You're welcome. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.